We need the glasses, sir, to clink and drink, right? Thank you. Let me fill let me fill them up, sir. Hold on a second. All right, let me get yours, sir. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beer Googles. El Beer Googles. <laughs> we are having Blanco Tequila again. Christopher, uh, salute. Salute. Thank you. Hold on. All right. That's number one. And so it begins again. And so it is. Just like you thought Just it would be. Just the two be. of us. Oh, we can, I'm a terrible we can singer. drink it anytime. Just the two of us. Tequila and lime. Hey, that's not so bad. It's delicious. That's off the top of the head. You're a genius. I'm like a musical. I'm a lyrical genius. <laughs> Scrotal ultrasound. Here we come. Uh, All right. That That's a great band name. It's going to be. Wait till you hear it. It's, and it's going to be like acoustic folk music. <laughs> Is, will there be a banjo? <laughs> that would be cool. I want to get a washboard. With the, with the spoons? No, the, the, the washboard with, with the fingers. With your fingernails? Yeah, with the fingernails. And grow them all long and stuff, and then do lines of coke from my pinky nail. Oh, that's you know, I scoop it up. I Yes, I know. You used to call it coke nail. Yes, Goose, I know the finger. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> you know, international relations. <laughs> so, sir, what are we, what are we talking about I was going to ask you. I gotta ask you because I always talk. So please, what, what are we talking uh, today's about? Today's episode topic is top ten movie heroes, and I approached it from the uh, idea of not Superman, not the Avengers, but kind of off topic, off the radar, slightly superheroes. Yeah, that's yeah. how I looked at it. Yeah, I did the same thing. I think. The list is, I don't even think we're going to even have one close to each other, honestly, because of the way we think. Really? Yes. But we're also going to be completely different from what people will assume. People are going to assume like Christian Bale, Batman. Oh, uh, yeah. Or, I don't, I don't have, know, I don't have, I don't, Chris I, I don't, think I don't have a single, of, I do not have a single superhero. On I don't think list. one of my guy has, I don't have one cape. I have not a single, nary, nary a costume, probably. Not even. one guy has a cape. So I've got a crazy list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine's pretty weird. What I did, a lot of, some of mine are on Laserdisc, just so everyone knows. And all your shit's Laserdisc, Shout bro. Out Theta Xi Gamma Iota, <laughs> because, uh, you fucking dork. Recently, the brothers have asked me, uh, we were talking about Days of Thunder. <laughs> of course you were. And I'm like, he didn't hit you, he didn't what bump you, he name? didn't nudge Cole you. something? He rubbed you. And rubbing son is racing. Cole Trickle? Cole, Cole Trickle was Dick the... Trickle's, like, nephew. <laughs> Remember, there's a guy named Dick Trickle actually in NASCAR. Y- yeah. Yeah. But, so... This is Cole. Cole Trickle. Cole Trickle. Let me add a car, Cole. Let me add a car. That's my uh, Nicole Kidman impression. When she's, when he's trying to speed up, he gets bumped into from a taxi cab. Anyway, uh, Elias mentioned Laserdisc. Took a picture of it, put it on Facebook right away. I said, you mean this Laserdisc, sir? Because it's sitting right in my is catalog. Is Cole Trickle on your list? No, he's Thank not. fucking God. No, why would Cole Trickle be on my because list? I'm he just could saying be Laserdisc. one of your heroes. It's an aside. Okay. Without saying... The words that we have been very good about lately. We have grown out of a lot of little things that we used to do on this podcast. You mean like tangents? Yeah. We're, what do we're you still think just tangenting. happened? No, we're tangenting, but we're not uh, cutting into the tangent with two little words. We oh. Don't, no, don't. RQ? Don't you? Yes. Hashtag RQ. Hashtag RQ. Um, so I approached it from a very just different way. I approached it from guys who I found amusing or funny, and some of them are duos. Like, they're pairs. I just thought of one uh, before we started, and I wrote that down. I thought of a pair. Oh, nice. So I would love for you to start with your first choice. And these aren't ranked. These are just 10 they that we found. They are not ranked. And they're not, and I wouldn't even say top 10. I think they're just 10 that I find just amusing and just fun to talk about. Agreed. The first one that popped in my head is Eddie Murphy's character, Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop. Very Not j- one choice. and two. Three was terrible. I don't even know if there's one after that. Two was really good, too. Two was two great. Was on par, yeah. But when, when, he, when, he, when he says, I'm not falling for no banana in my tailpipe. I'm not, you mean banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> I'm not going to fall for anyone banana in the tailpipe. Because those movies were classic. And I love that. That's that. The glycerin. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze! Oh, don't, oh no! I got I got to come in right, right with the with the bag and and the the tickets. 
That is the weirdest fucking thing. Please tell me more about Axel and why. Well, you just obviously, love, love you know Eddie. the the, the, the uh, Detroit cop that goes to Beverly Hills to see what happens to his friend, et cetera, et cetera. That's the basis of the character, you know. The weird cop that goes to L.A. and you know sees a girl in a bikini walking a poodle. <laughs> that's he doesn't fit in at all, and then he ends up making friends, et cetera, et cetera. But obviously, that's not when you think of a movie hero. You think of Superman. You don't think of Axel Foley. Right. You don't think of Eddie Murphy in a, in a Detroit Lions letterman's <laughs> jacket with jeans and a beat up <laughs> 1975 Plymouth, or what, I think it was a Plymouth. You don't. That's not a typical hero, but he was the hero of those movies, yeah. and they're great movies. They were funny, action, good story. Obviously, it's predictable. This guy goes there, gets in trouble. F- solves the crime you know what's gonna happen it's not it's not rocket science come on you know what i mean yeah. but it's still a good it's entertaining and i've seen both of them uh you know 20 countless times, times. but it's because it's, it's so funny and we still me and my my buddies still quote it all the time both of them and they're they're freaking hilarious and they're entertaining they are great. and he's a hero yeah that's the way i look at it i love like the street smart Versus yes. like the white educated Beverly Hills people that don't understand Shit. like the nuance of criminality. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's like easy to on a piece of paper to see what a criminal is or a bad guy or whatever. And yes, me you might be educated, but like a street savviness, you kind of get that intuition. You so much of the intuition plays into it. And he was really great as a hero in that. He was just a great character all around. Funny, uh, smart, entertaining. It was just great. Good choice. Thanks, boo. What you might find interesting is our synchronous events, sir. Synchronous Be- events. Because both of our first movies both have Gilbert Gottfried in them. <laughs> <laughs> of all the fucking people. Seven degrees. Of all the people who could have Gilbert Gottfried, it had to be Christopher and Mark. <laughs> oh, my God. My second choice, or my first choice, not in Gilbert Gottfried voice anymore, is... Andrew Dice Clay as Ford Fairlane oh, God. in Adventures of Ford Fairlane. A Laserdisc favorite. The movie's terrible. I got a broke up a <laughs> uh, I love that movie. It's fucking bad. It is awful, man. <laughs> Zuzu pedals. But look, one of my favorite quotes of all times. Talking to Zuzu was like masturbating with a cheese grater. Slightly amusing, yet mostly painful phenomenal quote yeah but it's just rock the cradle love at the yeah, sorority the, i was house. gonna say the sound the, the soundtrack is is really good soundtrack was because really queen's reich's on queen's it because i'm like yeah obviously billy idol had a huge hit off of it so that i crashed my car too but we talk about that <laughs> so but yeah <laughs> that's a fucking bad movie yeah, Wayne you, Newton's you, the bad guy bro and more is days in it Morris Day in the time, oh, like yo, yo. you got to shave your, you got to shave your, le- <laughs> you got to shave before you leave in a house in a dress like that, and I don't mean your legs. Whoa, hey now, you know, short skirt, long jacket, <laughs> kind of long, long jacket. Dra- uh, <laughs> but I <laughs> see how you could say that he obviously he's the hero. He right? was so funny, yeah, and he was. I mean, he saved the day, he saved the koala bear. You didn't think we was gonna kill the koala bear, did you? Oh. <laughs> I mean, Lauren Holly's in it. The ex uh, Jim Carrey's wife. Oh shoot! As Jazz, God, she looks so beautiful and red hair and that dress. Hey, I told you, dress nice, not nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wish sure. everybody could see uh, Checkmark doing the curves with his hands, but you know, sure, sure, I made you leave the, made you clean the toilets and the dishes, but who did all the work in bed? I mean, come on. <sighs> Oh, that's horrible. It's awful, bro. It's freaking it's a horrible movie, but it is one of my funniest. It is one of my favorite movies of all time because he's just so goofy. And I don't have to think about the movie. Oh, that's I can, for sure. I can get completely lost in it. And that's great. And Wayne Newton's a bad guy. Priscilla Presley's in it. It's that's just, a lot of famous it's people. A lot of famous people. For a shit ass movie. For a really shit ass movie. <laughs> really shit ass. I even pissed in the punch bowl. Thanks, oh, Wayne God. Newton. Dunkershun. <laughs> Actually, I should say Dunkershun oh, for Fort Fairlane. Will you drink to that with me, sir? Yes. Oh, thank you. Hold on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. So that's my first choice. Oh, We're 13 How minutes in and people have already changed choice. the channel. I don't even know if you can change a channel yes, on you the can. podcast. Um, well, it's like, because it's not, it's meaningless. My last one's going to be my favorite and you're going to hate it. So what's your second choice, sir? Can you, can I, now I'm already thinking about your 13th choice. Um, well, uh, it's my 10th, but 10th. Yeah, sure. Sorry, I was way off. <laughs> unlucky. Thir- Every one of these is my 13th choice. They're oh all unlucky. God. Number two, I have Riddick. Wow. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's what I thought. Yes. But not pitch black. Okay, wait for it. I didn't. I saw Chronicles of Riddick first in the theater. I was, some friends were like, hey, let's go see it. And then they, they talked about like Jack. And I didn't. How the. the ex- the exchange between like that priest guy and Riddick, they talked about how oh, you abandoned Jack. And I was like, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Obviously they're referring to the movie pitch black, but I didn't know that. I didn't get it. So I was like, Oh, Riddick was in another movie. <laughs> I didn't get it. And then, right. you know, whatever, four months later or something, I watched pitch black and I was like, Oh, okay. But I didn't pitch black. I thought it was just, it was Okay. Barely okay. I mean, it's better than Ford Fairlane. No, you don't get really good quotes out of it. Okay, obviously, and and, why, and uh, Tone Loke's not in in Pitch Black. Tone Loke was in Chronicles of Riddick. No, he was in Oh Ford, Ford Fairlane. Fairlane. <laughs> anyway, I I, I I I obviously Riddick is a he's a badass criminal. But he's the hero of those of that trilogy. Total anti-hero. Guy. He, he, correct, and he, you know, and and with the necromongers and all that shit, and go. Chronicles is so visually stunning. Yes, we have wa- how many? We've watched at least ten times together. Seriously, no, three. no, three, four, really, two point six, bro. Come on, I bro. Think we, did we start doing hand and mouth stuff after? Absolutely. Oh, for the rest of that point four. Bro. Just kidding, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh. Dude, put your, get your hand off me. <laughs> Hold on. Bad. Uh, and then uh, I was so excited to see the third one, whatever the fuck it was called. I think it was just called Riddick. And it was so, it was good, but it was just pitch black too. They completely regurgitated the first movie and I was so disappointed. Agreed. Uh, anyway. Chronicles was so good though. Correct. It was so good. I and was so had- Go ahead. I'm so sorry. No, please. I, I, don't. Stopped. I was so hoping for a Chronicles of Riddick part two. Like he's now the leader of the Necromongers and there's going to be like, it's going to be like Necromonger army conquering and fucking wars and shit. <laughs> nope. That no, just fuck you Peralta. That's not what they're going to do. Like it's poop. They just pooped all over the screen. It's, I just watched uh Jane Silent Bob's reboot or something. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous! But it's like, what's the difference? Like a reboot, a remake, a reuptake, and a, they've got all different names, and it's kind of funny the nuance of it. I don't even fucking know what the Riddick one is or whatever. I just love Chronicles so much, yeah. That I that's the only one I can watch. It yeah, literally is the one I watch. I have I've seen it a way more times than we've watched it together for sure. Absolutely it's beautiful. Yeah, just a gorgeous, and it's got the it's got. Uh, Naomi or the, from Westworld, the woman from Westworld. Oh God, dude! Who plays a Dear prostitute in Westworld? Lord. She is just, oh, she. Dude, just, when she puts that makeup on and she's mm-hmm. burning her eyes, like holy, that's Carl cool. Urban. Yeah, he's a badass, dude. badass, and yeah. he plays he plays a new Spock. Yeah. He's the second Judge Dredd, which was a great. Yeah, it was super shit. good. Yeah. There's one too. Fuck. Um, oh, that's poop. just a great J- Dread Two or whatever Dread I think it was yeah, called. It's, it's, it was great. You that. never see his face. He, it was phenomenal. It was that. super good. That was a great movie. So, very, very awesome choice. Not even cross my mind now that you said it. I'm. I don't like myself very much right now. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, I, well, I love you too, bro. Mira, mira, mira. Okay, I'm gonna go with a little more mainstreamy one. Don't do it. No capes. Nope. We should have made that a rule. Bruce Willis, John McClane. In Die Hard. You, Don't tell, did you, I? You did. Motherfucker, you I'm so a, sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry, I will, my friend. I will, that's And fine. it wasn't, we weren't, we were not, we did made sure to not to share the list, just, you yes. know, because we want to talk we, about it. Right. So, if I may, and like, then please, please then, no, you, no. then you no, add to you're that. You're up, you're up. You, you salt and pepper it, sir, and then we'll see, serve it up. How's yeah, that sound? Yeah, go. Um, I'm going to break the eggs to make the omelet. Uh, here we go. 
shoot the glass. John McClane. I mean, the villain almost makes the char- makes the hero that good. Yeah. It's like my first foray into what's his face? A snipey guy. Alan Rickman. Yes. That guy. He's great. Is awesome as a bad guy. And Alexander Gunoff's his brother, the blonde hair guy. Yeah. Spoiler, gets killed, whatever. Shut up. I mean, that movie, I remember just grow because it was 88, maybe? 89. 89 or so. So, you know, teenager, for yeah. sure. And Christmas time came around, and that was like, it wasn't a Christmas movie, but it was just based around Christmas time. And all of that. Dude, come to the valley, have a great time, come out to the And Bruce Willis was just so entertaining and enjoyable on the screen. I just love that movie, and he, and he kicked ass. And he, how many more? Five of them? I mean, uh, it launched a franchise. He was that good. It launched that whole franchise. A lot. And a lot of them were good. Two was good. Three oh, was yeah. pretty good. Two was and great. Then, yeah, I thought two was as good. Could have been a sequel as good as the original as well. Because it was so different. It was at the airport, right? Yeah. So please, uh, please add on to that. Well, three was in New York with Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, yeah, I think Iron, si- Iron Jeremy Irons as well. Yeah. That was I- a good one too, actually. Zeus. Hey, Zeus. He's like, called him, hey, Zeus. And he's like, no, my name's Zeus. He said, "Hey, Zeus." I don't. I and then four. I don't. And I never Timmy saw Ol- Timothy Oliphant, the Victory one. Was it? I, I never. Don't, I don't remember that one. Yeah, but I mean, the first one was just so iconic. Yeah, Nakatomi so, Towers. Yeah, Nakatomi Towers. Yeah, that's it. It's a great character, a New York cop in L.A., no shoes, the whole movie. That's just jumping off the tower with the fire hose tied around him. That was just fantastic, you know. Yeah, his bloody feet, and he's trying to kick in the glass yep. and stuff, and just all of it. Really awesome. And another one, it's weird. You picked Axel Foley. Yes. Detroit to L.A. Yeah. kind of guy. Yeah, Here's that's ironic. New York to L.A. Right. We, without thinking about it, but I think some something about our heroes, we like them kind of taken out of their general element and how they interplay in a new world. That's, that's kind of a cool. good point. Because we make assumptions about a Detroit cop or a New York cop. And you make assumptions about what L.A. is. Like, yeah. L.A. is different than what right, a New York guy right, is. Right, 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 So watching this fish out of water, right? Yeah. Trying to both navigate, you know, dangerous situations and, like, the cultural part of it is pretty interesting. Wearing a wife beater with no shoes. Son of a bitch. No, take off your shoes, curl them up in a, in, in a ball, and just walk around the carpet. Fucking don't listen to people on aer- airplanes, by the way, <laughs> as an aside. Just leave your headphones on. Yes. Um, thank you. Yeah. And and that's uh, Die Hard. And yeah, uh, yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Yippee, yippee Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> but nothing. What does he call him? He calls him a cowboy or something. Yeah, cowboy. Your cowboy. <laughs> Is this Mister McLean? She's the fencer. She's the fencer. Shoot the glass. That's such a great that's line. A fucking great line. Because he saw and like that Rickman just how he thinks. I can just every advantage he can. Smart. Cause he's German probably. You know, I love that line with the, uh, oh, look at this. The LAPD has an RV. (laughs) (laughs) I freaking love that line. One of my favorite is when Carl from Family Matters is the cop. Yeah. He's just getting shot at. And he like starts backing up. Yeah. (gasps) Ah, break it, break it. I'm getting shot at. And I'm like, Carl. (laughs) And then I just keep imagining Urkel at the top going, did I do that? (laughs) I just thought of that <laughs> stupid show oh my God. that I watched every GD Friday. Every one. I f- freaking hated that show, and I watched it every day. I didn't hate that show. It was very entertaining. It was. It was pretty good. I don't think I saw a I third them. of them. I watched them all. Anyway, so that was Die Hard, McLean. That was my second. You're a hero stealer, dude. Sorry, bro. Well, that's a good thing. I know you have 15 of them, 20 of them, so you like, wrote one down. I have like... Yeah, I have three honorable mentions. Beautiful. Well, you have to move one up in a slot. <laughs> What's your third one, sir? John Wick. This is a shout out to my friend Tony Derricks in Philly. Philly? Philly. Tony. Antony. Ant. Antony. Uncle Elbow. Listen up, buddy. You, you mentioned John Wick on the Podbean website. This is where John Wick comes in, bro. Bro. Because I knew that you were going to choose John Wick. You did? Yeah, it's total anticipation. Because we, we've been tickling John Wick's a little bit, like playing around with him a little bit, teasing. Now we're going kind of, you know, blank deep. <laughs> so I'll let you, please. John Wick. Well, excellent choice. I mean, the first movie is just, I mean, it's fantastic. 
and he, I, the he's the hero, you know, and he doesn't say much. He just kicks ass all the time, and whether it's guns, knives, b- beating you with his bare fists, swords, <laughs> whatever it takes. And he's an assassin, isn't he? Or yeah, was right? he's a, well, so he's another antihero. Correct. He's really a guy who was in a group that a tr- did bad things. A, a right? trained like, killer. Yeah. A trained a trained assassin. Yeah. Mercenary. Break down a little bit of the just a short piece of the plot, like how how it works out because uh, it's very important what sets him off. Obviously, well, he got he was a trained killer and he got out and then um, retired. I think right. Yes, he's technically correct. Retired. And then uh, this son of a mafia boss. And him got into it a little altercation, and then the mafia kid roughed him up and killed his dog. And then John Wick comes out of retirement and uh, goes on a rampage. You don't do. You don't do. You don't do that. No, it's like in Pulp Fiction. You never fuck with another man's car. Yeah, you never touch another man's French fries. Right, and you don't. You don't touch another man's pet yeah dog a puppy dude a freaking puppy named daisy you know that's uncalled oh, for that just breaks my heart and i'm yeah you don't even like animals that dude's a motherfucking badass though oh i know john wick does not mess around so tony that, that one's for you buddy and you're coming on one of these times by the way i'm calling you out to come on because he's fun he's like he's like the east coast woodsy fantastic he's like woodsy from the east coast <laughs> He's the guy with whom we have like hours long conversations over there. Yeah. yeah and we talk more on a, sometimes on the phone, but sometimes in person under a roof. Oh, yeah? Yeah, while we're eating macaroni and gravy. And water? And drinking water. And yeah. lagers. And lagers, for sure. <laughs> lagers were definitely. I'm not going to tell about that time because I don't know if the statute of limitations ran out on that. Ah, probably. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag just kidding. Hello, Twitter world. I'm kidding. <laughs> what so, you got? John Wick. Is what do you got? Number three? Yes, sir. Well, now, now I got to figure out. You Did know, I steal it? You got to let me know no, for whatever I steal. No. I have thought John Wick would come up because he's, like I said, he's he's really right on that fringe of awesomeness. He could very well be put in the in that He's not on the fringe of awesomeness. He is awesomeness. Okay. Maybe he is so awesome that you can't even gauge the awesomeness, and it's hard. What? All right. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I don't understand your last statement. But oh, we're going to move he's along. He's so awesome. That we don't even realize. It's so beyond our capacity to understand his awesomeness that we can't gauge his awesomeness. He's immeasurably awesome. I'm going to move along. (laughs) Nothing to see here. Please don't change the channel. Okay. How about this one? This is a shocker, I bet. Heath Ledger. The movie? I'm sorry. The character, William Thatcher. Yes. Nice tale. Thank you, sir. I'm taking a bow yes, for now. Yes, you know it. what? Hold love on. it. We're Uh-oh. drinking. We're drinking on oh, that one, shit. sir. Where's my shot glass? Yeah, you got it. Fill it up here. Ah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Ah, yes. So, Ugh. Blanco. I, we're gonna have to get limes and salt next time, bro. A nice tale. Love that movie for real. Fun movie. Yeah. Like it's inspirational. It's fun. It's light. It has serious. It. it has a great villain in it as well. Oh yeah. I've, sometimes, like I said, the hero is so many times defined by the the level of the villain. Yeah. And that guy, you have been weighed, you have been measured, and you have been found wanting. Like yeah, that's a powerful fucking statement. Yeah. And then he was going to cheat. He cheated with the thing on the front with the spike. Yeah. Like because he, he's not he's a winner. And unfortunately, like people in the world are like that. That progress the world, and that's a progression. You know, moving. Things forward is okay, but like sometimes the means to do it is kind of crappy. So I just, I just loved how he came from nothing, but he had that brightness in his like heart. Like he just played the character so well. Yeah, he really is a method actor. He got so into that character, you know, and and then meeting his dad who was blind and seeing him after all the years after being shipped away, and like it's heartfelt. Like he almost get choked up. His the woman of interest is just this beautiful person. She's radiant. She just glows. She like floats. Across the floor. It's just awesome. Especially when he rides a horse into the church. That was great. That's fantastic. Doesn't doesn't that take a dump? Does does it poop? I don't believe so, but it should have. Oh, what? Yeah. No. Hello, it's called the lounge. (laughs) Yeah. Hello. 
we got to save the horse. And then Chauncer. I love yeah, Chauncer. Yeah, he's so great. Good in that. <laughs> <laughs> Lichtenstein. And then the dance, the, yeah, the, the beginning, right. the we will rock you. Like, yeah. It was so cool how they played that in. And then, then they did uh, no, no, do, the David Bowie song when they're, yes. doing the, when they're doing the dance. With yes. The, what song was dance? that? Uh, Golden Years. Yes. Golden, that was great. Yeah. It was so good. Just a fun movie. I could watch that movie time and time again. Yeah, and, it sucks. And he wins, man. I hate it. Because every time it's on TNT or some shit, I end up watching it. it we should, it's a time waster. It's a stupid movie. It's a time warp movie. That's I know. I, you I, like I, really, it so I really like that stupid movie. <laughs> it's so enjoyable, It's though. so good. It is. It is. All right, man. What's your uh, number four? <sighs> it should be so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Ripley from Alien, Aliens, and we will forget the ones after that. Three, Resurrection, five, 18, 22. Yeah, the other, ones, the other ones that came after that, we'll forget about. But um, she's such an iconic, you know, Scorny Weaver. Ripley was such an iconic character. She, she, you know, survived two movies and many, many, many aliens and mothers and eggs and face huggers and learn how to be a badass. Just as a survival. So she's a, she's a survivor. And rescue the little girl, you know, and the stupid cat in the first one. And she's a badass. That is a, an amazing choice. How, how, I mean, how could I not? I mean. How many actors were that bold? Female actors. Like, let's be honest. In 1979. It's, right. Well, 79, but 86 specifically, just because of that. Even 86. Shave their head. Yeah. That was like crew cut. Yeah. Like all, right to the, almost to the skin. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, absolutely. That was such a bold move for an actor. I think at that time. I don't think many, other than playing like a mental patient or something in some previous like method acting kind of thing. Yeah. That wasn't like a badass. You've mentioned like Axel Foley. Phenomenal African-American actor. Yeah. You've mentioned Sigourney Weaver. Phenomenal. Why? Because they're good actors. Actors, regardless yeah. of who they are, yeah, and that's what that's how good she was. She transcended in an action world, yeah, in the action world. How many female in sci fi, in sci fi, right? Yeah, nowadays there's a lot of that, right? There's a lot of that going, but she paved the way. She's probably the pioneer in sci fi, yeah, action. Well, you had Terminator in '84, but this was in '79, was, was Alien, so. Hamilton carried the torch in Terminator 2, though. Oh, Holy yeah. Big time. Crap. Exactly. How much she worked out and all that. Like, yeah, she oh was ripped. You ever, you remember that scene as an aside? Please go ahead, Tangent. Um, when she was, remember she looked at herself in like one of the movies before the explosion happened or whatever? It was like, it was her twin. That's how, that's what Linda Hamilton actually looked like. That's how, that scene when they're looking at each other. And one's like not really ripped, and the other one's like all. Linda Hamilton has a twin sister. Yeah, Linda. Ham they looked at each other. I believe that's correct. I think oh. you can quote me on that. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to look that up while we while you talk a little bit more about uh, about uh, Ripley because she's so fucking. Well, amazing. obviously the you know the I think the scripts and the the way the both movies flowed and the the actors that were around her and. Obviously, James Cameron was a great director for in the second one. Um, so the ways that everything that was put around her obviously helped her to be helped that character to be a great hero. So the things that surrounded that character helped the character to be a hero. You yeah. know, yeah, I think that's that obviously. Well, that's true with any hero. You know, John Wick can't be a great hero with a shitty fucking story. Right. You know, same thing yeah. with any, with anything. Yeah, the plot. And Look at Aquaman. She was so badass as it. We're not. <laughs> Aquaman I is a terrible hero. Hold up. Please, please stop. Okay. I'm just kidding. We're going to probably touch up on those unhonorable mentions. So what do you um, got on Linda Hamilton? Oh yeah, twin Leslie Hamilton Guerin. So that's that was the story. Is basically Leslie, when they were looking okay. at each other, Linda was so ripped. I'm just saying, like it was just another one of those, can't you know, Cameron, freaking things where just, just knew what they were doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Badass. I was just talking about badass women in in action sci fi. Yeah. So rare back then. Yeah. And though she, Ripley absolutely paid the way. She, 
I mean, all you, you know, when you thought women back in the misogynistic times, it was like women are kind of, you know, they're going to peek in the corner or scream. She went at the fucking problem. She, she was just the baddest ass woman ever. I would agree. I think that was a great, great choice, sir. Thank you. Did you think I was going to pick that? Was it I th- obvious? I thought it would. Yeah, just because it's, I mean, come on, man. Alien, aliens is going to run our theme through all of our podcasts. I'm sorry about that. Uh, even though I gave it to you. <clears throat> Still. Guilt trip should, guy, what up? Flip that coin. The only thing is, like, thank goodness that's at least on video. <laughs> all right. Well, how about this one? Go. We're going to get into some Saturday Night Live people okay. probably the next couple picks. I don't know how it happened. That John way, it Candy. Out. John Belushi. Yes. Playing Mr. Blutowski. Yes. 0. 0.0 <laughs> or something like that. Or <laughs> undeclared. Right? It was, I think that's what it was. And then uh, from Animal House, of uh, course. Obviously. Yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. See if you can see what I am now. I'm a zit. Get it? Food fight. I mean, was it over when the Nazis burned Prague? The Germans, Germans bomb world. German. Forget it. He's, he's rolling. rolling. I mean, he was just so good in that. And then it was like Mr. and Mrs. Senator John Lutowski or whatever. Yes. And he was just the running back and forth, like, and then he's <laughs> dancing, coming out with the pirate stuff. And I mean, he, he's greatly missed. Oh, yeah. He's greatly missed. Oh, yeah. And I don't know. I know he had that in him. But I don't know if the uh, the substances helped bring it out, and if it was needed for him to be that great, because he really was that great. I mean, remember when he's on the ladder in the sorority house, yes. and he's in the window, <laughs> and they're getting they're having a pillow fight, and then he hops over yes. and makes that clunking noise, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like looking in the window, and she's like stripping down, and then he just falls backwards. I mean, oh man, I I miss him. There's not enough movies with him in it. This is true. He was fantastic. And Animal House was fantastic. Animal House is all. I mean, you could have picked so many heroes in that, obviously. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, he's Eric Stratton, amazing. Rush Chairman. Damn glad to meet you. That was Eric Stratton, Rush Chairman. He was damn glad to meet you. <laughs> Katie, what are we going to do now? Otis loves us. You know, all that. He's a little song we like to tell. Shamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> I sing it in karaoke, and I love that movie. I love that song, by the way. But... That's my that's my hero from that movie, Mr. Blutowski. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You need to press the applause button. I don't know which one it is. Oh, I'll figure well, it out fuck it. Point. Never mind then. <laughs> All right. Oh, now, 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 okay. Shit. Talk right. about a long delay. That was a delay. <laughs> that was like a well. It's because we had to we had to uh, dump. Somebody cursed, so we had to dump it. Somebody album. cursed. Yeah. Isn't like, that terrible? Like is, me? Shouldn't it have been called the, did you just curse this time or was it me podcast? Both. <laughs> Both of us. Both of them. All right, sir. I think it's your number five. Are we up to five? I already? don't even know. I think dude. we're up to five, man. Sure. Yeah. So my next one, you already stole John oh. McClane. After that, McClane. I got this one. I, I, I have two from the same movie. So maybe you can help me work this out. Okay. I have, workshop I have Charlie Sheen and Willem Dafoe from Platoon. Oh. So. Wh- that's good. Uh, can you say that Charlie Sheen's character, Chris, from Platoon is, is a hero? I, I, I don't know because he comes in as a young recruit. He's super green. He, he, he's, he does his head spinning. And then, you know, he kind of integrates into the, into the group of guys you know, and then he, you know, he barely survives the, his tour, and he then he gets out of there. Was he really a hero? I mean, he's the main character of the movie, right? But and then Willem Willem Dafoe is kind of the big brother to all the guys. He's the the moral compass of the of the movie, and he's like kind of the. Have you even seen it? I have, sir. Okay, I good. love this movie. I was like, come on, shit. Uh, Marlon Brando. Hello. That's 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 not. He's in Platoon. Platoon. No, he's on Platoon. It's Apocalypse Now. Oh fuck, Platoon. I'm getting all mixed up. Fucking. Now. I'm conflating them. Yes, I have seen Platoon, but I get those two conflated all the time, and I'm very sorry. I'm. I took I took a couple Excedrin earlier today. 
Is your head okay? <laughs> so, Me too, oh, but that's because I'm hungover. Sorry. But anyway. I apologize. <laughs> um, yes, so, Platoon is a totally, yes. I guess. Uh, well, wh- who do you think created the action? Though? Who was the final death blow or who was the well, final? Well, um, Willem Dafoe at the end of the movie got left behind. They thought he was dead. He was shot a few times and he's running to the landing zone. And as the choppers are lifting off and the choppers are flying over and you see tons of Vietnamese troops running towards him and then his hands are up in the air and that's the basically that scene is the picture of the poster for the movie and then he gets shot a bunch of times and so to me Willem Dafoe is the is the is the hero of the movie because he's the good guy he's the guy that's like hey don't be a dick don't rape these women don't shoot the innocent stop being a, don't be a dick that but don't be a dick. Also, is running through through all of our episodes. Well, that as well. should that and should it, and it should be as it should. That I'm should be you. running through everyone's mind yes. all the time. Hey, everybody! Hey, don't be a don't dick. be a dick. So I, I I don't know if we could say that the main character Charlie Sheen was a hero or not. I put it on my list so that we could have maybe you could give me your insight. If if I watched Platoon again, probably six months ago. Heroes can die, in my opinion. Absolutely. I didn't think about it. I actually only had survivors of, like, at the well, end, their arms are raised because they're victorious. Right. Um, but heroes obviously can die, and there's probably an honorable mention, or you'll probably mention one that pops in my head right away. It's, like, a huge one that I don't want to talk about till. What about, like, Old list. Yeller? Yeah, but exactly. Or I mean, Shane. Well, you didn't know, Shane ride off the horse? Like, he got, they think he shot, got shot and was going to. Right. I mean, it's possible a hero sunset. could die. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, many times. Right, so... I agree. I never even thought of it that way. I always really thought about it at like a... Like a winning, victorious. Like a victorious hero. Yeah. I really I really messed that up. Maybe we'll do one of ones that only died. Because <laughs> I, I, I can only think of a very, very small handful that would be... That, that passed away during the movie. Especially, you would want you wouldn't want that because you do want sequels to happen, possibly. Well... If it takes off, right? Yeah, so of course. So you'd want to have a of Batman course. 2 and 3 and whatnot. So that makes sense. <laughs> Very well said. I so in your eyes, Willem Dafoe was was one because he he got them to there. I mean he he's the one who nurtured them. Correct. He the was movie. the like the leader of the. There was two factions uh, in the movie, and he was the leader of the good faction. Yeah, or whatever. However you want to whatever you want to call that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I think it's a very good choice. Thank you. So a little obscure. I but think we're so am yeah. I. Um, is it Adventures of Ford Fairlane obscure? I say not. Well, it did win the best Oscar. I know. It didn't, you know, Ford Fairlane won the best. Shittiest movie? Yeah, the Pile of Poop Award. The the Rotten Tomatoes best. I still love it. Zoo Zoo Petals. Hey. (laughs) All right. Uh, (laughs) Continue to get our Saturday, in my Saturday Night Live theme. I think it's, let me see the next one. Okay, the next one, definitely not. Okay. This is a duo, my friend. Go. A comedic duo. Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd in Trading spe- trading Places. Wow. That movie is amazing. That is so good, dude. That is such a funny energy. Damn. First, Eddie's on, like, begging for money. Yes. He's blind, and he's got no legs. He's got Special his little dolly. Special Agent Orange. <laughs> he's rolling. <laughs> and Dan Aykroyd's like, what are you talking about? Guy? Mortimer. You know, yes. we've got a dollar, Mortimer. Yeah. You know, that, and the gorilla suit is uh, two week, two weeks detention from uh, Breakfast yes, Club. Yes, it is. It's a Dean. Does yes. he know? Does, does Barry Manilow know you're robbing his wardrobe? <laughs> two. That's two. Want to make it another week? All right. Um, Trading Places is just a fun movie overall. Just like so silly, but like there was a point Jamie Lee Curtis was in it, smoking hot little young young thing. So that's uh, dude. That's fantastic. What a great I, that thanks, never man. crossed my mind. Like I said, they're I, totally I heroes. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah, I wanted. Like they stuck it to the man. I mean, they, they stuck totally it to the institution. Did. That like that's what we. That was like there. That was Occupy Wall Street in oh nineteen eighty three, four, two, five. I don't know. Eighty two. I think eighty two probably right. So I just like Mortimer, uh, the two old guys, like fucking they just get them out of there, and it was great. Just so smart, funny. They play Aykroyd and, and Murphy were so good together. And I don't know if they did enough movies together, but that was a great one. That Is that did. the only one they did? I don't know if they did other ones. I'm sure there were. There's so many I'd have to think about, but 
I don't know if like Doctor Detroit, if Eddie was in that, or if I don't think so. If Stan, uh, spies like us, or that was no, Chevy was, Chase. That was Chevy Chase, right? And then it was, Strice was Bill Murray and John Candy. That wasn't Dan. It's hard to. I I don't know. Maybe that that choice makes me think that almost Eddie, almost every Eddie Murphy movie, he you, you could put on the list. Like I could say Prince Akeem from Coming to America. <laughs> he's call. he's the hair. He's the hero. Like. Yeah. Like, I mean, I could, every single Vampire movie. Vampire in Brooklyn. Oh, that's horrible, but <laughs> sure. Fuck. Daddy Daycare, he's the hero. Oh, like, he is. Yeah. And I like Daddy Day. I thought Daddy Daycare was great. Maybe no. I can't speak to the sequel, but I like the original. The no. first one? I no. thought I entertained. I never watched it. Okay. Anyway. So you can't say that, bro. Well, sure. But you're right. Eddie Murphy wrote his own destiny. Yeah. Like, in a weird way, he, I think he owned his whole career. Find like somewhere you think that he just he may have missed a mark when he tried to sing like a sing crew, but even then he, Dude, he went for it. Shut up. He went up. for it and he sang. Dude. Nope. What? Boogie in your butt is phenomenal. My girl wants to party all the time. Party bro. all the time. Party oh, yeah. all the time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're time. gonna give me a hundred dollars if I put stuff in people's butts? I'll step aside. <laughs> my girl wants to come on. I, I heard mean, that at the gym, dude. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. They're it, playing party my girl likes to party all the time at the gym it was fantastic it's the we don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time oh god of the opposite it's like we but have to take our clothes it, off actually to have a good that time. song's not that bad no, it's a great and he's a great singer it, not, i was really surprised how not terrible it was objectively he's yeah. a great singer yeah he has a phenomenal vocal right vocal chops yeah because you hear him sing on his comedy stuff it's yeah. amazing dude but it's amazing in like 1985 when boogie in your butt came out <laughs> oh my god we totally oh, lost man. it i had that tape eddie murphy <laughs> eddie murphy was like he disappeared and he was always on our minds. putting trees Rick, in your butt and bumblebees in your butt ah oh, it's so good dude <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that that's my net. trading places, man. Oh, I, so I just great, thought man. Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd were so oh, great because they really yeah. stuck it to the man, and they did it within the confines of their system. See, that's the problem. Like we're talking about breaking systems, and you can, but you have to have a backup system in place to launch when you take said system down. You can't just knock down a system. And they went within the confines of the system, found their workaround, and fucking just. Whoosh, Right up the right up the banana in the tail ta- banana on the tailpipe. Right up the butt. Right up the butt. That'd be up the butt, Bob. Up the butt, Bob. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. How about your number uh, six? Eight. I believe? Eight. What? Because you stole one of mine. Whatever. You should be on six or something. One, two, three, Whatever. four, seven. five, six, seven, seven, no, seven, eight. Because I had okay. two for one in one movie. Okay. Whatever. It don't matter, bro. Bro, it's all good. But all that matters is my next choice. You're gonna hate. But I love you. I know, but why are you going to hate this next choice? Because it's going to be the dude from Shawshank. Boom! Way to go, check mark. I do not like this movie. Shawshank Redemption is over, over, overrated. Overrated. What does Dutchmark think about this? In the measured tone, Dutchmark thinks that the Shawshank Redemption is a very good film. Written and directed by someone, I'm sure. And it was also had the Timothy Robbins in it. And he is very global. I like global people. And also the Morgan Freeman is in it. And I like him also. The Morgan Freeman is good. Does Dutchmark give it thumbs up or thumbs down? I, well, well, Germans are a little more dirty. They like to put it up the butt. So they go thumb up the butt. One, one thumb up the butt. Not two. <laughs> Just, y- yes, Just one. one thumb. Just yes. Just one. Just one. Just one, sir. Please do not, please do not try to correct my English. My English is British English, not American English. Fuck! Don't I, get all snooty with me, fucker. I do not. Sp- I do not speak American. I, I cannot. Don't cannot d- speak this. All way. right, enough of you. Okay. You can go. Whew, I just channeled some fucking German douchebag. God. Anyway, that guy's so bitch. proper. Did you hear how Andy Dufresne is my next hero? <laughs> you fucking prick! And he really is a fucking hero, and I hate I hate you. So I am much. half Dufresne on my white side. Cracker with beans. What up? And Man. he's a, Andy Dufresne's a rock star. He climbed through a tunnel of shit to get to the other side to go to Zaywataneo, Mother Trucker. 
If the fucking warden knew the fucking hammers in the goddamn Bible. We all knew the hammers in the Bible. No, we didn't. Mark. Not right off the bat, sir. We all knew. Okay. Knowing's half the battle. Okay. It's a patient motherfucker, I'll tell you what. All right. Um, that is a phenomenal choice. I can't argue, unfortunately, with that, even though I hate you for it. Of course you do. Yeah, I hate you because it's so beautiful. I know. It's like Riddick, John Wick. Andy Dufresne. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. He's a badass, man. He, the way he hit that had that pipe with the rock. Boom. In conjunction with the lightning or the thunder. The thunder. Fucking delicious, man. <laughs> thunder <laughs> and lightning. Was, next, oh, man, go. That's beautiful. <laughs> My next hero, Woody Harrelson. Roy Munson in Kingpin. That movie... I think it's a Farrelly Brothers, right? It's one of those weird I fucking think so. ones. That movie is so GD funny. I mean, he starts off like this 1969, 79 bowling champion or whatever from Iowa or whatever. And then Bill Murray's the bad guy and gets his hand cut off, basically in a, one of those machines. And then he's a nobody. And then he finds Dennis Quaid, Randy Quaid. Dennis one Quaid, of the Quaids. One of the Quaids. I think Randy. Quaid. Gee, Mr. Munson. We do things half as half as twice as hard as you, whatever. Anyway, finds Roy, uh, Roy Munson finds him getting Munsoned. It became a phrase, and then and then uh, he breaks his hand. Uh, Randy Quaid breaks his hand, so he can't bowl anymore. So then Rubber Hand Man has to come in and bowl and gets to the finals. It's just a fun thing, and then at the end he wins because Trojan gives him five hundred thousand dollars. The Trojan Condom Company. That was a the fantastic man. Cliff Notes version, dude. <laughs> Favorite favorite part of that movie? What is about good sex and having to take a dump after? I think you jarred something loose, Tiger. <laughs> with with the with the landlady, God, you're who had to pay dork. the rent, and he's like throwing up in the toilet. And then, but he wins. But he's like such a loser who wins. Like, I don't know. It just it touches my heart when when bad people get away with good things. I don't know. Not, not, it touches not my heart. It touches my heart. When bad people get away with good things. It's not a true statement. What sir. kind of bullshit is that? Total dude? bullshit. That's what it's called. Total. So how about you, sir? How, what's your next one? Uh, what, or what are your thoughts on Kingpin? I haven't seen it in 20 years, oh, dude. Okay. I can't really. I recommend watching it again. It's pretty entertaining. Okay. Next on my list is Michael from Deer Hunter. Wow. Good choice. Uh, I fi- I finally saw it about. I never saw it till about three months ago. Nice. And I didn't even know that uh, three years was in it. <laughs> three years. In three years. Yeah, Walken. Christopher Walken. I didn't. And I, you know, it's in from the seventies. Yep. And he's Walken is so young. Yeah. It was just crazy. But um, I picked. Um, it's a very good choice. Michael is the hero because played I played by. What played by. I, yeah, I was just going to ask you, I forget, I get the two, it's not De Niro, it's... Pacino. It's not Al Pacino. De Niro. It's De Niro. Yeah, it's I get De Niro. A, I get yeah. the names and faces confused. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's my, it's my De Niro. So. It's the Goodfellas Syndrome. We got fucked. We got screwed because yeah. every movie has fucking both well, of them yeah. that we grew but up with. I, I think, th- and he's on my list because the character, when, when they go to Vietnam and they get their POWs, he like, he holds the group, they're, they're, they're in a cage and... The majority of the cage is underwater, and there, you know, there's leeches, and it's horrible. And they're, they're, um, he holds the four guys together, like, hey, man, we're gonna make, we're gonna make it out of here. And then they're playing Russian roulette against each other, and all the Vietnamese soldiers are betting on him and this and that. And he's like, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it out of here. It's good. And they, then towards the end of the movie, one walking is they don't know where he is, so he goes back to Vietnam to bring walking out. Like awesome. that, that, the, the, the moral code and the, the ethical qualities of, of that kind of person. Never leave a man behind. Kind yes. Of thing. Like, yeah, that's, that is the fucking definition of a hero, man. Yeah. Like years and years and years later, your buddy is still in Vietnam, still playing Russian roulette and the war's been over for years and he goes back to get him. How that is the hero. I mean, forget Riddick and John Wick, dude. This that's dude, this point. dude is the man. You know what I mean? Yeah. That there's that's it. He's the man. Yeah, it's true. Uh, sacrifice your own self. Yeah. It's funny because uh, 
we talk, we, we've talked multiple times about like what meanings of words are. And a lot of people are like, I have a passion for something. And really, as soon as it gets hard, they, the passion kind of fades. Well, the whole point, passion isn't about that. Passion is regardless, you, you, you suffer. Passion actually means suffering. It's kind of like passion and the Christ thing. Mm. It's actually the suffering. It's what would you go and suffer through to get it? Yes. And someone who would suffer, who would suffer their own sanity, life, well-being yeah. to protect for someone else yeah. is the definition of a hero. I'm not, I don't think I could ever be, a, I'm, I'm not a hero like that. No, not at all. Well, have you I've ever been, been tested? Right. But, You've not been put in that position. But, but so I'm, you can't answer that question. Right. But I'm happy to admit at this moment, I admire that greatly because I don't know if I could. Right. That's all I'm saying. I'm just being honest with my own fallibility. Yeah. My own, my own short, like, you know. But you know, we don't know. We have we never been in that position. Correct. You know, we would hope that we would be a good enough human to, to be like, hey, yeah, I would go get my friend. Yeah. That's basically what he did. Yeah. I'd love to say that, though. But really? You're going to go out to Vietnam? Like, I don't know if I go in another state. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> to go back to the country where yeah. you were held as a captive? Like, I don't think I'd go back there. Yeah. That's, that's, no. Yeah. But the dude, and, th that's why he's a hero. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's specifically like, I don't even know where, how far I'd go. Like, yeah, I would curse what my, what my limit would be. But to your point, that's, that's heroism. To, Absolutely. Uh, spelled out. So very, very good pick. Thank you. I would, I will give you an applause shortly. It went up my short arms, when my T-Rex arms reach. Yes. There you go, sir. You're welcome. Congratulations. You just won the, <laughs> you just won the BAFTA award. What's BAFTA? BAFTA is that stupid British fucking thing that gave, uh, what's its faces, uh, that Leaving Neverland f Best Factual Series Award. Wow. What a piece okay. of crap. Anyway, uh, I, I digress. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my next one, okay, so I did back-to-back -back Saturday Night Live. I'm going to do back-to-back -back Roy's. I'm going to go with Kevin Costner, <gasps> Ooh. Roy McAvoy, oh. and Tin Cup, sir. You know me. I am not a golf you guy. You don't like sports movies. I am. I do. I'm. I like my. I like my slap shot. And oh I like, yeah, you, you know, don't like. Like, I like, you don't like baseball I'm not a golf movies. guy. I'm not a right. baseball guy. Those are my specific. I like football movies. Yeah. But Roy McAvoy is so awesome in that because he was like you know he beats people with garden tools and like Don Johnson once again yeah defined by the bad guy. Holy crap! I just realized Don Johnson's a bad guy in two of mine now. Um, wow, it just tells you how, how weird, like, like we both had Gilbert Godfrey in one and now I have Don Johnson in, as bad guys in two of mine, which is really odd because it tells you how good Don Johnson is. I think he's one of the most underrated people, but he and, makes, oh, please. And, you know, Mammy Vice. Yeah. Dun, 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 Whatever that music was. Anyway, digression 2.0, uh, digression 2.0 means that, uh, now you got me stuck on Miami Vice, bro. Tin Cup. Renee Russo's in it. She's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don Johnson, when he said, I bet I can hit the ball further than you. That was so good. So... That seven iron down the road. <laughs> right down the road. That he was goes, so awesome. That's, that's, that's what it's all about. And he gives him that smirk like, bro, you're never going to learn that. You're never going to get it. And then at the end, into the drink, drops it. Into the oh, drink, drops it. In a, Dude, he you're hitting 10. Care. He does not care. And you know what? Some people just live by the sword and die by the sword, right? And that's just an amazing thing. And his character's so good in that. And I like Kevin Costner in most of his movies. So, but of all the heroes, like I could have chosen like Waterworld or I some Postman so or something. I was hoping you didn't say Waterworld. I wasn't dude. going to. I thought you. God. That's when I said, yeah. But please, I went with I'm Roy's. like, please, dear Lord God, don't be Waterworld. You're like, you're like wait, the the Waterworld character name is Roy too? Please don't be Waterworld. Yeah. Please don't be Waterworld. No, please I wasn't going to do that to you, sir. Um, although I, that's an underrated movie. Also, no, it's Dennis, horrible. Dennis Hopper is a bad guy in that, and Jack Black gets shot with a harpoon while he's and, flying a plane. Oh God, so it's not, it's not water. the worst thing. No, fuck Waterworld. <laughs> I like you, Jack Black. By the way, I think you're awesome. But a lot of people uh, have given me different feedback. I love, I like, love Jack Black. I, I like Jack Black too, dude. He's fantastic, dude. We could have picked him in School of Rock. Oh, we could have totally picked him. God, that would have been great. J yeah. What's his name, Mister Sneebly? Ned Sneebly. He was two Ned. characters. Ned. He was Ned Sneebly, and then he was his real name. He was his real name. Jack Black. That was a great movie, School Rock. That right? Was fun. That was fun. 
Wow, well, that was a tangent if I ever heard one. All right, sir, your next one. Because we we're lost count, so I'm just going to keep going, and we'll keep going back and forth. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I apologize. I, I, I don't even know what you're doing, sir. What are you, what are you trying to do here, I'm sir? I'm just playing around. Oh, oh yeah, as long as we're having fun with it. Oh, oh phew. We, did, did oh, you get it? Crickets. Pardon me. So Sorry, number 10 on my list, sir. Ow, I think I just broke my ankle. Did you hurt your little your little leg there, sir? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt as much as other places, so. Oh, no. Just rub some tequila on it. Tequila! Oh, that means, hold on. Mas, tequila. Oh, gotta get another shot. Sir. Ready? All right, thank you. <sighs> number 10. Oh, let me fill you guys up in the meantime. Hold on. Okay, number, yes, your next one. Whatever the number is, because I've actually got a lot more, so I don't I, know how well, we got lost. Well, I have lost. some honorable mentions. We went sideways somewhere. We always go sideways, bro. I love you, man. Teddy Brosif. Yeah. Uh, number 10 is Maverick from Top Gun. Excellent choice as always. Because uh, we hate Tom Cruise, but we love his movies. Something about 1986 and you really gets along, I think. Well, you know, I was 15 and my hair was glorious. <laughs> I was so flowy. Oh, was f- spectacular. Oh my God, it was like beautiful. Because Maverick, is he's a rock star. He flies F-14s and he's not happy unless he's going Mach 3 and his hair's on fire. Slider. <laughs> this goes out to Mr. Lex. Yes. Go. Slider? You stink. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Lex, Joseph, Brosephine, oh. Brosif, <laughs> Brosif Lex, you're welcome, sir. Bro we got we to gotta get eaten in here. We got to get a couple other people. So okay. we got to get I'm some down. more honorable mentions. I'll brocado. Well. brocado. So tell me more about Top Gun, sir, and well, how great uh, No, Maverick we don't was. need to talk about fucking Top Gun. Everyone knows about Top Gun. What's really cool is his nemesis was also a hero. Yeah, I mean, they both shot down MiG twenty eight, right. which don't exist. They just had bitch fights, <laughs> like they were just on the bitchy. volleyball they court. Just, yeah, Mother goose, you pussy, you pussy. <laughs> I mean, fucking Val Kilmer was phenomenal. Yeah, as as ice man, man. That's his teeth uh, yeah, crammed we, together we with we his know. gum. Do we have a teeth sound? God, no. I don't think we have a teeth sound. But <laughs> that was that the homoerotic scenes in that movie are delicious. How terrified are you of the new Top Gun sequel coming out? I don't I don't know what to expect. I'm going to hope that they're putting a lot of money in the visual effects so I cannot think about the story. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, to be honest with you, it's going to suck really bad, <laughs> the but there's going to be airplanes, so fuck yeah. it. He's he's a new Viper, basically, right? Or uh, Jester. No, Viper. He's a new Viper. He's Isn't the he new the Viper. Teacher? Yeah, correct. So, okay, great. So it's a re-fucking tread, if, as far as I'm concerned. It's almost like you're going to have two other hot shots coming in. A it bu- seems a like bu- that's what it's going to right, shots. but it seems like that's what it's going to come down to, and then he's going to mentor somebody. Like, <laughs> my mother even says, "Did you hear Goose's son is in the movie?" I'm like, "Oh my god, my mom knows more than I do." Oh, oh my, my god. fucking god! Like, I hope it's not actually Anthony Edwards' son. I don't know. It's the, the one that Meg Ryan was holding. The key, the character. Take me to bed or lose me forever. <laughs> <laughs> what a great movie! That movie. <sighs> Berlin music was yeah. in it. She looked so good at that point. What's her name? Kelly McGillis. Yeah, she did not age as gracefully as we would like. But you know what? She's a beautiful person. Neither have a we. beautiful soul. So I I care for her as a human being. Absolutely. And it's all good. But she was a knockout in yeah, the movie. Yeah, right? Oh, so you're the one. <laughs> anyway, uh, just a beautiful movie. You never close your eyes anymore. I'm like, bro, I can't even sing that out of key anymore. That hurt me. Why? You're a good singer. I was I waiting for you to. I was trying to sing it off key on purpose because oh. that's what he was doing. I'm like, I, I was stung. waiting for you to kick it up a notch over there, no, I Emerald. Do that to you. Any, anything to add? <laughs> no, to the, to Maverick's the a stud. He saved the day and go USA and all that shit. And Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> Hold the stupid dog tags. How many times have we said talk to me? It's like, it's just iconic. And then he just signed off. Great. Cougar, Merlin, and Maverick, and Goose. All right, my friend. Go. I'm going to go with Jamie Foxx and Christoph Waltz in Django. I've not seen that. Darn it. Give me, well, I'm give me 90 you. seconds. Go. Dang, Django was a slave. Christoph Wasn't it Waltz, Django Unchained or something? Django Unchained okay. is what it's called. And it, I believe it's a remake of a, it was a Tarantino movie. And Christoph Waltz, who was a, the best bad guy. When we do villains, 
I guarantee he's he was be on my also list. he was the bad guy in um Inglorious Bastards. Yes, thank you. I, I couldn't. Will. I yes. saw the movie in my head, but I couldn't. He the, that was our first introduction into Christoph Waltz. He's so good. So good. Yeah. So good, and he was he also died in a fucking bollicle. He that. was the French guy in Matrix Two. With the no, p- that is not him. that's not him. Nope, that's the Merovingian. I was way off. Genre, I apologize. That's okay. He was a bad guy in the Sahara movie. Do you remember the movie? Yeah, Matthew yeah, of McConaughey. course. I read the all book. Right, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who was running the solar plant. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. him. Same okay. guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. Okay. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Christoph Waltz is just such a good actor. In there, general. I agree. And you haven't seen Django. Basically, uh, Django gets freed, and because Christoph Waltz buys his buys him basically because it's during slavery times, and they be, uh, Christoph Waltz goes after people is, who is, have slaves. Is Christoph Waltz American? He's it, not. I think he's German in this. And he's but like, he's, it's in the U.S. It's in the U.S. So yeah. is a so German in the U.S. It's a German in the U.S. And he's like a bounty hunter, and he goes after people who have slaves. So he's like he's freeing, helping get rid of bad guys. Huh. Okay. It's like phenomenal movie. I certainly recommend watching it. But like he goes, my name is Babala. This is my horse Fritz. Like and just the way he talks has this thing. And he's a dentist. He's got this. He's got this carriage on the back of his horse with this uh, tooth on a spring. And he's like a mobile car. It's like his. It's he's undercover as a bounty hunter, but he goes undercover oh. as like a dentist, like a roaming dentist. That's weird. It's the weirdest thing. But like Samuel Jackson's in it, and he plays an Uncle Tom. In he's like on the black. He's on the white the slave owner side because he's one of the butler guys and he's trying to get his wife. You know, Jamie Foxx is trying to get his wife and it's just a really good movie and it's a run them up, gun them up and they're just really good together. And you know what? It's a, it's a fun movie, entertaining. So it's another duo, I guess. Thanks. You, I hope you watch it sometime and, and you might not like it the way I liked it, but you know, I liked it. You might like it differently than I liked it in a good way. <laughs> Yeah. What you got next, bro? Uh, my honorable mentions, the one oh, I thought keep of. Keep going cuz I got two more, so. Okay, the one I the yeah. ones I thought of right when we right when we started were Bill and Ted. <laughs> <laughs> cuz, uh, you know, they go rules. through <laughs> San Dimas High School rules because they go through time to write a book report. <laughs> so crates. <laughs> yeah. Beef oven. Beef oven's rad. Oh my god. George Carlin. And uh, the next movie, Bill and Ted uh, Face the Music, comes out in a couple weeks or whatever, August 2020. And I'm stoked about that. I think we should release this one along with the Plate Story one. Okay. Let's just do it same day because the audio on that one's so shit. So we'll do Whatever you like. We'll do a two for, I think. I think we should do that. Two for Tuesday? Because we just talked about that one and we talked about that movie again. Okay. Uh, Face the Music, Bill and Ted's. Love it. Yeah. Because right. Bill I and Ted it. are awesome, and even though even Bill and Ted Theodore Ted Esquire Theodore, Theodore S. Ted. Preston Theodore S Preston Esquire, shit, I know this one. I think it's Theodore S Preston Esquire. I'm pretty sure. Ted Theodore Logan. Ted Theodore Logan. Oh, that's shit. Uh, yeah, it's hurting William my... S Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. Ted Theodore Logan. I yeah, know. I was yeah. hurting my brain I, there for a minute. Fuck, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> been a while. You know what? We should watch that. We should. After we get hammered and do two more of these. Totes hammered. Totes hammered. Hashtag. <laughs> Don't forget hashtags. Hashtags. I remember are seeing that in 1987 or whatever. And I just like, God. And then when they did Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, or Bill and Ted. Yeah, yeah Bogus, Bogus Journey. It was Bogus. And they and did the third one. It wasn't. One. The third one's coming out in whatever, August 2020. But it was. Bogus Journey wasn't as good, but I still liked it. Was Defoe. Death in that? No. The other guy. I get him mixed I, up. Yeah, I, I I don't know his name. But I always get his name mixed up, too. Um, but they look exactly like with that. They look very sharp features. They look very similar, yes. I always get him but mixed up. But he was he shaved his head and, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what he, talk. Best House 7? He's, uh, he's, in, the, he's, he's in the next one because they oh, actually good. do go to hell. I saw the preview. And nice. it looks awesome. It looks, I really hope it's, but the soundtrack for Bogus Journey was really good because <laughs> there's a song called Go to Hell. And it's, it's beautiful. It's, it, looks, it looks really funny. I love it. Very excellent choice, sir. I know we're. Not, I know a lot of my our heroes don't go past uh, like nineteen seventy nine or earlier than that. So well, I'm going to stick in that theme. I've got two more, go. so I hope you have at least one more because you started three. Okay, and we've got honorable mentions, right? Yeah. Uh, how about this one? Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
Try to guess the movie, bro. There's about 852 movies that he's well, a hero in which I mean, he's a hero. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna try to send it to I you. I right already now. know you're gonna say Terminator. Nope. Wow. No, um, sir. Predator. No. Well, it's not Running Man. Running it's not Man's Commando. One of my favorite movies of all times, by the way. Uh, love. I love Dawson in that. I'm gonna say Last Action Hero. Oh, that's a great one too. I love that movie. Then I got Total know. Recall. Ah, okay. Total Recall. I watched it again last night just to watch it again because I love that movie. Yeah, I, it's I good. forgot how advanced, like, yeah. uh, special effects wise, it was. Sharon Stone's in it. Michael Ironside. Yeah. Co uh, Hagen is the bad guy from the third Indiana Jones. It drinks from the King's Cup and turns, rrr, rrr, and it's funny. I have he's he also turns old kind of in the Mars thing because he gets rrr, as the air yeah. comes out of yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your ass to Mars. Get your, Get your ass, ass to Mars. Mars. Lady, lady, this is my briefcase. I need it. She's like, fuck you, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> That's a shout out to my friend Rusty back east, by the way, because I texted him that audio clip last night as I was listening to it. <laughs> watching. We used to yell, fuck you, you asshole. We used to say it all the time to weird things. Lady, I need it. <laughs> Get your... <laughs> Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're like, I got five kids to feed. Like the whole thing. You know. Or the lady with the three breasts is like, I'm not free, but I'm available. And Melina, Melina, get down. Get down again. <laughs> get to the chopper. We'll get to the chopper. Oh, get some miles. I'm I'm kind of d- stealing Pablo Francisco's bit, so I don't want to do that. Um, but I just saw it Quaid when Quato comes out of his stomach. No, Qu- Guado's a mutant. Quaid, oh, free your mind, open your mind. Just an awesome, yeah. Fun it gr- movie. It's a great, great character, great yeah. pick. Yeah, of all the ones, it's probably one of his deepest. Oh yeah, like I, 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 it's hard to be deep in an action movie like that, especially like sci-fi action and all that. But it was really good. So that was my uh, second to last choice. I can't believe you didn't pick Terminator. Look, he is the best. I mean, Terminator is an amazing movie. That's. It's kind well, of un- Terminator Two. He doesn't the, need to be. He'd be the hero in Terminator right. Two, and, and the he'd, bad guy. He'd be the villain in Terminator One, right? Which is crazy, right? He can be both. I mean, we have a lot of antiheroes that are bad guys who do good things. Yes, and it speaks. It really does speak uh, to the dichotomy of the human. Absolutely. Yeah. Like we always talk about, like this guy's bad because he did a bad thing. Good people do bad things. I've done bad things before. Well, who everybody has, right? And that's but, but human. Part of part of us doing this is talking about that. Is like we all do bad shit. This is why we have a conversational because we're going to make mistakes when we talk, and we want to correct it right there. You know, yeah. We well, say and then you apologize and go. You know what? Hey, man, I yeah. shouldn't have done that. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it came I'm out. Gonna, I'm going to try to be better tomorrow. Yeah, may I? You share, know, may I share a story? Would you can like I, to? Can I do a story press time? The story yeah. time button, sir. So today, I'm going to share this. Hello, Twitter world. I was on the Twitters. I was on the Twitterverse. The and tweets? I, I could pull up the, the podcast. I, I want to give them a shout out maybe another time, but because um, it's just not on the tip of my tongue. But basically, they were asking for horror movie recommendations or something, something you know, creepy stuff. So I replied in my you know, normal, joking, really dark self. <laughs> uh, yes. Faces of death. And two girls in a cup. Oh, and God. then in parentheses, in parentheses, I wrote "just kidding" about the second one. Ha ha ha! Totally did. So then they're like, "Hey, thanks for the recommendation." I go, "It's, re- it's really crazy." The faces of death one. He goes, "I've never heard of faces of death." So it happened to be on YouTube. Hold on, happened to be on YouTube. Okay, and um, I just copied the link. It's the full original movie. Faces of death is on YouTube. I pasted it to him. And then they replied, hey, man, we're not into, like, really gross animal cruelty and all this stuff. And it kind of, it was two things. I felt so bad that I hurt this person's feelings. Like, I felt bad that my recommendation was so offensive because I didn't intend it to be offensive. My right. Int- my intent was, like, I, did, I obviously misunderstood that he wanted the creepiest thing because, to me, that was, growing up, we watched that as teenagers all the time. So they wanted, like... 
Freddy Krueger? Yeah, like and mental. Is, yeah, a is lot of mental. Faces of fucks, death, not, animal cruelty. There is because they bash a monkey's head to eat the brains out. Oh, like, I didn't know that. I thought Faces it was all human. Is, it's not all human, but I it's didn't nasty. know that. There's sacrifice. There's alleged sacrifice in it, and stuff like oh, human I had sacrifice. no idea. It's a it's a dark movie. I thought but, it was just humans dying. Yeah, but they they asked for dark like. I just went there because that's like the darkest thing that I yeah grew up watching. I remember seeing it and I remember when I was fifteen. Just forget the monkey yeah, part. Yeah. I'm we're we're in our forties. We are mid and late, mid to late forties. We are both in our mid to late forties. Both, and, and it was a different time for us as children. Oh yeah, it was a different time. Everyone, I'm looking at that. I have not watched that movie since. I don't think I could watch it now since I was sixteen. Yeah. However, as a teenager in 1990. 89 or whatever when we first heard about it was released in the 70s or something we watched that thing like every saturday night it was like (laughs) one of the things we watched you know we were weird like that like we also like you know we were kids we were boys yeah and we didn't know any better we didn't know about all the social consciousness stuff in today's world this stuff is crazy and then what's really cool so i completely apologize i went i'm so sorry that i offended because i i didn't no, I'm, I misunderstood what you were asking. And they said, no worries, man. People recommend really cra- crazy stuff all the time. I'm like, yeah, but I, I just want to, I need you to know how s- sorry I am. I'm a 45 year old man. And I know that like my era was different. It was a different time. And sometimes we're not, we don't ask for leniency or excuses, but we grew up in a different time. Absolutely. And I wish there was just a little more understanding of on that. We don't get it. All the time, yeah. All the time because yeah. it's new to us. It's yeah. so new. Look, old dog, new tricks. We can learn. Yeah. I don't think, I don't believe in not being able to learn at all, but it just sometimes takes us a little longer. Well, it's understanding on everyone's part. Yeah. It's, it's, we all should be open minded. Yeah. yeah and, sure. and, and it's on us to try oh, yeah, to learn, of course. right? Right. So, like, I wrote again. I said, I'm so sorry again. Thank you. So he wrote back, Yeah, I'm 22 and my co host is 28. That is 17 years. That is a whole generation yeah, difference. we could be their dad. Right. And think about what computers were 17 years ago in 2003. Like, they were Pentiums. Well, and like they, were, they, were the, they were the big CRT tube yeah. monitors. Yeah. I mean, flat screens right. didn't exist. No, no cell phones. phones. Cell phones. Well, 17 phones years ago did. was what year? Cell phones did. They were just... Oh, three. But, but they were flip phones and they were text. The, the iPhone hadn't come phones. out yet. No, I don't think the iPhone came out yet. So StarTac had come out. Yep. Digital Motorola. phones, yeah. D- digital phones came out in like ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Phone phones were out, but it was still a newer technology. But yeah. Think about where we are now. I yeah. mean, we can capture four K on a freaking on our hand from like an accident that we're right in front of and witnessing that we could shoot around the world in three minutes. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So we come from a different world, and this is a total tangent thing, but I don't care because it's. Welcome to Tangents, everybody. But um, no, like, that's the understanding I wish we'd have. So, like, very sorry to the podcast uh, for rec- making a bad recommendation. And um, I will definitely give a shout out to you guys again. But it came from my era. So, anyway, that was that. Was that. So, you have a next one, I think. Yeah. Did I lose everyone already? No. Did I lose you? Bill and Ted. Okay. Oh. What, you, what did you say? Bill and Ted. What's Bill- after Bill and Ted, sir? Ferris Bueller. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That that deserves like almost like a slow class. <laughs> Save <laughs> Ferris. Save Ferris. <laughs> Nine times. Cause he's a hero. He's the ultimate hero. <gasps> he got to he, everything. He does what we all want to do. Don't go to school. Take the day off. Go to a Cubs game. Play hooky. Go to a parade. Sing on the float. Go be Abe Froman, the Sasha's King of Chicago. That's what we all want to do. Drive a Ferrari. That's what we all want to do. What two songs did he sing? Uh, shake it up, baby, now. And uh, Donka Shane, Wayne Newton, Call Back, Adventures of Ford Fairlane. Mother trucker, Donka Shane. Shut Sorry. the fuck up with Ford Fairlane. Laser disc, mother trucker. Don Kishirin and Shake It Up Baby. I'm <laughs> Abe Froman. No, man, run. You're an asshole. <laughs> Cameron was great in that. Yes. Oh, my God. That's a great choice. Yeah. Save her. Hello. I'm not feeling so good right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Uh, oh my god! Scr- yeah, that whole movie, Rooney, Rooney, <laughs> you're an asshole. asshole. <laughs> and Jennifer, Get no, Jennifer Gray, Gray, Gray. yeah. Oh my god. And that little the white Fiero, Charlie Sheen. In oh the, yeah, in the drugs. Police. Are you in here for drugs? <laughs> in the police station, and they start making yeah. out. Yeah, young lady. Oh my gosh, that is that is. Hey, un- oh how you doing, buddy? I'm feeling okay, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> clammy. Um, step two, clammy hands. You can get them by right? licking your palm or licking your palm if you have to. And then when he plays the clarinet, <laughs> never had a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> we should have played that in our misophonia episode. We sir. did. Oh, oh. Is that what, well, it was a, a similar sound. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never had a lesson. <laughs> My mom bought me this, and I'm glad in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, no. Say first. Uh, but he does what everybody wants to do. Don't go to school. A slow- Bueller. Yes. Bueller. Oh, Sloan, dear. Bueller. Something D-O-O economics. Voodoo economics. Fucking Ben Stein. Oh, my goodness. He was great in that, too. Yes. That was a great movie. Launched, it launched a band name. Say Ferris became a band name. That's how, that's how important Ferris Bueller's day off was in, in the lexicon. Yes. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I just made that up. It's the Joe lexicon. I, mean, Joe, I thought it was Lex Luthercon. <laughs> the Joe lexicon. Slider, you still stick, bro. Uh, we still love you though. All right. Last one. This is, this one will make you either love me or hate me. And I'm not sure. I don't think, you, I think you're going to take a side. Okay. Casper Van Dien as Johnny Rico. Oh, fuck yeah. In Starship Troopers. Rico's right. Roughnecks. Rico, you Roughnecks want to live forever. <laughs> Ironsides once again is oh, in it, yes. right? Just like he was in Total Rico. I went Ironsides, Ironsides as a bad guy. Or not bad guy. He was actually a good guy in that. Rico, you're, you're, you're sergeant until you're well, dead. Well, he was in Top I Gun, too. Better. He was in Top Gun too. Ironsides run. We could if we did TV shows, we would have V, and he was in that. Oh, if he yeah. would, do, he's in so many sci-fi ish. I love Michael Ironsides. Love him in that. Oh, he's so good. Anyway, um, to, uh, Starship Troopers is one of the campiest, best. It's so good. It, but it's almost like today, like the propaganda. Would you like to know more? And you're clicking that bait. You're clicking that clickbait. Okay. 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 Denise Richards. Yeah, she's so broad. I'm not a Denise Richards fan. Oh, I like raw. I like Diz better. Nah. Well, yeah. The, and I see her boobs. Y- yeah, no. Di- the character Diz is is awesome. I like the frizzy. I think she's hotter. I don't know. <sighs> I think Denise Richards is crazy. Well, yeah, she's crazy. I'm talking about the. the okay, well, I get you though. Johnny you're Rico. Right. Sorry. No, no, I, you're I right. Apologize. No, no. I should have never brought it up. No. No, you're right. Denise Richards is very attractive. We, and okay? her dumb boyfriend gets his brain sucked out, <laughs> which is amazing. The brain bug we got, and, and Doogie Hauser. I know, Doctor Doogie Hauser. He's Colonel. scared. He's scared. Colonel Doogie. Fear. I hear. I sense fear. <laughs> I, I'm a huge Doogie fan. Well, yeah. You know, it should have been the hero in Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar should have been heroes in mine. They are doctor. heroes. But Starship Troopers. Once again, back to that. Just a. Not not anyone after the first, just the first one. Just watch. I didn't even know there was one. more There's than like one. There's like three of them or what? four of them now. Don't just don't say you will not. They are so bad they might. You know how good Chronicles of Riddick was, yeah. And the other ones were ex- like reasonably bad, questionable but they were okay. at best, right? They were bad, but they almost shook the foundation of Chronicles. Like if you get one more bad one out there. You yeah. could tip the scales like I can't even. I'm the whole thing as a whole is just too the sum of the it's parts. It's poopy, yeah, and that's what Starship Trooper. The first one is just on its own; just should have just been done. But they cashed in, and they just got you know it's easy to make digital bugs and whatever, and they just made it more gro- gory and grotesque. And I'm not a gory grotesque guy. I just thought it was so fun and campy, and I don't have to think about that movie. So, Cash for Bandeen, and I don't think he's been in anything since. So you know, shout out to Casper. <laughs> He could be a hero too, Casper, whoever played Casper's voice. The friendly ghost. Yeah. All right, man. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks. That was awful. It's a sure. great fucking movie, dude. It's a great movie. It really is. I fucking is. love that and shit. He, and he fucking died. He basically almost died and then he lived and then he survived. Dude, he I, died you know what? Hey, I would like to know more. 
I would do. So, would you like to know more? C- uh, citizenship guarantees citizenship or whatever. <laughs> Service guarantees C- citizenship. citizenship. What is it? He goes, uh, man found caught stealing apricot. News at 11. <laughs> uh, execution execution at noon today. <laughs> live, yeah, live execution. Found Immediately found guilty. Execution at, at noon. Uh, it's, it's just a great movie. And it is kind of like how we are, how we live our lives so distracted and everything. So that's that's my list. And I'm ready for some honorable mentions, sir. Yeah, the only two I have are, uh, they're so fucking obvious. Um, Indiana Jones and uh, James Bond. They're so good, though. But I'm like, they're so obvious. Yeah, but I, I did about nine seconds of research for this podcast. Who's your Who's your favorite ba- Who's your favorite Bond? Sean Connery. Connery, yeah, The Rock. I mean, you're the man now, dog. <laughs> Bond, James Bond. I did my, in my nine seconds of research on Wikipedia. I, uh, <laughs> I, it was funny. It said the top fifty heroes and the top fifty villains, and it was. I found it funny that Han Solo. And Obi Wan Kenobi were in the top fifty, but Luke Skywalker wasn't. And I was talking mm. to somebody, and they go, "Yeah, because he's a little bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I would guess he'd be here in the last one. Well, the third. Well, his not. Yeah, it, Revenge, Return of the Return Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Twitter world, because that it, was. There's nine of them now. <laughs> yeah, so fuck. fuck. <laughs> we're so lost. And wh- who is your other? Because mine was Roger Moore, my In, favorite. Okay. And P- I love Pierce. Actually, I liked all of them, actually. I thought Timothy Daly got a, a little bad rap. I thought he, he was better. He was He's better than people gave him credit for. Because they compared him to Connery, and that was bad. Yeah. And Brosnan came after. So I think Daly took the hit of, like, yeah. not Connery. Right. So when yeah. Brosnan came in and swept up, yeah. it's different. And Daniel Craig's awesome in everything. Yeah. Honestly, he's great in Lo- Logan Lucky, Knives Out. Yeah, that was really good. Phenomenal movies. Anyway, please. Indiana Jones was the other one. Indiana Jones. Who's your favorite Indiana Jones? <laughs> um, probably Mine was River Phoenix, the young one. Harrison just, Ford. Just kidding, man. I just saw uh, Call <laughs> Call of the Wild. Okay. And it was fucking really good. Nice. It was a fake dog the whole time. <laughs> but Harrison Ford, uh, Han Solo, Indiana Jones was great. I think that was In the delicious. Alaskan Outback. <laughs> Harrison Ford makes a great everything. Everything. Yeah, it's funny cuz he is he has that code in Indiana Jones like where he's just that like he has some kind of code, but he's going to steal but steal for righteousness. Yeah, you they it belongs in a museum. Right. You know what I mean? That's yeah. That's a it's a code for sure. And even his smuggler's code, he's got some kind of code going on. I just it's hard to kind of figure it out. But he was a bad dude who I mean, literally got pulled into the good side. He, yes. He, and then he saw it and then he fell in love. And, you know, I still can't unsee Luke and Leia kissing in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like there was tongue. No, but she gave him a, like a little more than a peck. It was a little hard peck uh, when I, they did the swinging thing across the bridge. I, not the one in return. I, I, I agree. Yeah, I concur. Too much. The same thing with uh, at the beginning of Empire. Yeah. Just when, a little. When he, yeah. A little bit. You're like, oh. Yeah, it just didn't work for me. What is this? Is not Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, sir. What the hell? Yeah, I know. So that's been our list. This is it. This has been it. So those are our some of our heroes. I'm sure we'll talk about more. But uh, hello, Twitter world. Would you like to? What's comment? on your list? Yeah, what's on your list? Tell us your list. Rate review. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clink and drink, and we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit out in a second. What are you gonna do? No, we need to go back, sir, because we need to close the music out. I just wanted it to be weird. Because everybody was kung fu fight. For every one you push, I have to put these on the lo- list, and I have to realize which ones you pushed. Can you not do any of these anymore, please? So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do? Yes, because it's copyright. I have fuck, to, I didn't I, know that. Bro, you know nothing about the podcasting. Get I know, and, don't. We ain't found <laughs> shit. <laughs> we ain't found shit. Give me Dude, your glass so we can drink one more. <laughs> we we could have okay. done space balls. Oh, Yogurt. <laughs> The Just play. Love this Who's one. the best? Barf. Barf is my hero. Uh, I'm, I'm my own best friend. Uh, give me some paw. I'm, Bart. I'm, I'm a mog. Part I'm man, half, part dog. Half man, half dog. I'm my own I'm best, my own friend. best friend. 
Blue play special. Hello, my baby. Hello, my dog. I'll, I, I will not have that, what he's having on that. <laughs> so we're going to this out. So which one did you hit? You hit a gong and some other shit. I'll just throw them all up there. Well, oh, this I'm has sorry. been another episode of uh, beer, the Beer Googles. Let's see. We're going to record a couple more of these today because sure. it's been a lot of blasts. So uh, movie heroes, they're different. They're fun. They're not your standard cape-wearing, mask-wearing You're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe? I'm not going to fall for no banana in the tailpipe. Are you? And we outie, boys and girls. Peace.